1630 earth ground clamp meter here. Um, basically what we utilize this for is to measure the earth loop resistance um, for the uh, drilling rig and uh, sight shacks. Um, first step is to select the uh, ohms, which is resistance. The meter will go through a self calibration process. Once it's done the calibration process, then we'll use this standard loop resistance clamp. Uh, it's just fixed resistances to ensure that the um, meter is reading correctly. So we clamp this onto the first one here and we verify that the meter is reading what the specified resistance is and that's correct. We'll take it to the next one now. Do the same thing. That one. Same thing, verify the resistance. This one. Same thing. So now that we've done that, we can verify that the meter is uh, reading accurately. And what we'll do now at this point in time is we'll test these earth loop uh, to ensure that it falls within the guidelines that uh, specified. An acceptable reading uh, for earth loop resistance is 0 0.5 ohms. So we'll start with the main earth here. It's just a matter of clamping the meter around the actual main earth cable and we can verify that yes, this resistance reading is lower than the required 0 0.5, so this is acceptable. Next point that we'll move on to now is going to be our potential bond. And we'll start right here and we'll do exactly the same thing. Verify, clamp around the cable. As you can see, we, once again, we've uh, received an acceptable reading. Now what we'll do is we'll move on and we'll finish uh, testing the rest of this loop. Finish. We'll start here. Once again, we look at that. 0 0.440. Once again, an acceptable reading. And we'll finish off now by reading over here. Take our reading. 0 0.594. It's a little high, but uh, still an acceptable reading. Uh, at this point in time, a couple different scenarios that may take place so that you can see the difference in readings. Um, basically what we'll do is we'll take, we'll disconnect uh, the earth system here. When, what this should effectively do is increase the resistance of the system. So what we've done effectively now is we should have uh, As we can see, the resistance has jumped up. So this is basically signifying that we have uh, a break within our uh, loop. We'll go back over here. Plug this back in. And now we should read the normal reading again. Now we're back down to 0 0.54 again, which is an acceptable reading.